you're going to New York for the U.S. Open, sure, you want to go to Flushing Meadows and take in all the glamour and excitement that is the tournament. The sport's shining stars are all out, and just being there is a big deal. But if you're a tennis player and you're there for the big event, then on your time off from watching the tournament, what else would you do? But of course, play tennis. And there are some great places to play in New York City. We checked out a few of them. We stayed in Brooklyn, so spent some time playing at McCarran Park's seven excellent courts. There is a fee and you have to pay through New York City Parks and Rec system before you play, but it's worth it. The courts are great and looking up at the Brooklyn skyline makes it real that you're in New York. Prospect Park is one of Brooklyn's amazing green spaces. Comparable to Central Park, it has trails and beautiful gardens and nine excellent hard courts. And the creme de la creme of public tennis courts in New York is, of course, Central Park. With a total of 30 courts, it's an active and exciting place to play or watch. And when you're finished, you can explore at one of the world's most exciting parks. And if you want to take in some tennis elsewhere in Manhattan, we found these courts at Hudson River Park Pier 34. Two doubles and one singles court in trendy Greenwich Village with a river view. So being in the Big Apple for the US Open is exciting for anyone who loves the game. Tennis is definitely in the air and you can have a great time watching or playing. So when in New York, definitely don't forget to pack your racket. I'm Terry Church.